to the second of the uh, two videos for the use of research in PA20. Uh, now let's see how to use uh, multiple uh, filtering criteria within research. So we are at PA20, we are at research. I want the list of all the employees who are working at my personal area, Dallas. So I want personal area, Dallas. I don't want this personal area to be in my output field. So I just uh, want here Dallas. And I, if I don't recall the code for Dallas, I just press F4 button on this button. And the code for Dallas is DL00. So I can type it directly as well. So this is DL00. And I also want only those employees who have uh, uh, they are, say age more than uh, 40 years so I want uh, personal data and within personal data I want age of employee so input criteria age of employee so this is another uh, age uh, if I just enter 40 years right so the system will treat it as uh, I just press enter so system will treat it as is equal to right so i don't want just uh, is equal to i want it to be greater than so i just click this diamond and i want to be greater than or equal to 40. so the age should be greater than or equal to 40 and the personal area should be exactly dl00 if you don't need to do anything with it it automatically converts the diamond automatically converts into equal to sign so these are the two criteria i want and in the output field i also want the age of employee and I want not personal area, but I want personal sub area in the output. And also I want the company code and the relevant texts. Right? So you can see these numbers here, which are updated because of the criteria and the outputs uh, within this folder. So we enter. And let's see what happens. We have a list, employee number, employee name, personal number and name, which is, which is by default always there. Age of employees here. So you can see that age of employee, only those employees, 35 employees are here, which are more than 40 years. So none of them is less than 40 years. This is the personal sub area. This is the text of the personal sub area. This is the company code, text of the company code. And if we would have printed, uh, taken the output of uh, personal area, it would have shown Dallas uh, as well. So this is the way we can use uh, more than one criteria. So we can use three criteria as well, right? So uh, now another uh, use of uh, uh, multiple search criteria. Let's say I want list of employees within my personal area, which is Dallas. So DL00, DL00, I pressed enter. And apart from this, I want personal sub area so my personal sub area criteria is uh, now i want personal sub area uh, let's see how many personal sub areas are there in dallas so we have uh, uh, within dallas we have all these sub areas right since we have selected dallas at the top so it is only showing our uh, the personal sub areas within the Dallas. so we have almost seven entries i want the data of all the employees who are either working in finance or it and nothing else so now I have two actually different departments, right? So since it is one field, I cannot actually have two person sub areas here. So person sub area is only one time. So I can go over here, multiple selections. And as we have discussed in the class as well, in the multiple selections, we have select single values. We have select ranges. We have exclude single values and we have exclude ranges, which are uh, self uh, explaining these terms. So the single values I want, uh, as we discussed, I want their my finance department of DL00. So finance of DL00. And I want personal sub area IT of DL00. So make sure we are personal area is DL00 and the sub area is IT. Although IT is somewhere here as well, finance is somewhere here as well, but we don't need to select this one because it belongs to another personal area. So we need to keep ourselves to Dallas. So these are the two person sub areas and I press execute and you see here is a green button which shows that there is some data over here. So it's not, not just finance. There is something else as well, which is actually hidden here. So we pressed enter. And since no other output is selected, so only employee number and employee name is there. If we would have selected the outputs as well, so we could have seen that this is the person area Dallas and the person sub area is either uh, finance or IT. Right. So it could have been shown in the output as well uh, by checking box the other two checkboxes which we did left. So anyway, uh, again, we go to free search. I want list of employees whose uh, again, let's say 
personal area is uh, I want it to be in the output as well not text just the code the personal area is Dallas but I want the age of employee to be so this is one field selection over here the age of employee between 40 and 50 so the age of employee is now checked and I want it to be in the output as well and it is between uh, uh, 40 and 50 so we could have we can use this button as well for between but uh, I prefer to use this one multiple selection so we select ranges so lowest limit is 40 upper limit is 50 so this is the limit now if I would enter single values 40 50 it will it will only show me the employees whose age is either 40 or 50 but now I want all the employees between 40 and 50 so we execute and we press enter here and we have a list of almost uh, 24 employees whose personal area is Dallas and you can see that the age is between 40 and 50. Let me see, I want to see again the list of all the employees whose personal area is Dallas. So personal area is in Dallas. But now I want it that the age should not be between 40 and 50. It should be anything other than between 40 and 50. So I want the age of employee. I want it to be in the output as well. And I want it to be exclude ranges. So I don't want employees between this age group. So I exclude ranges 40 to 50. And you see there is a red mark which actually shows that uh, this has to be excluded. And there is some data here as well. So now I have a list of uh, again 24 employees uh, okay I think there is something wrong let's do it again um, there must be something wrong so organization assignment because it was showing the same data it didn't actually uh, uh, refresh the data it was showing the data of the earlier query so DL00 is my personal area and I wanted this to be in the output as well and uh, further I want organization data I want the age of employee and its value as well and the age of employee should be actually not select should be 40 to 50 so enter execute okay and let's enter okay so other we uh, again we have uh, age of employee okay my friends uh, uh, i'm sorry i discontinued in between and uh, i noted i kept on trying and i saw that uh, there is something uh, severely Janu German in the system because uh, if we go to personal data and uh, if we are working on age of employee, so there is something wrong with the age of employee, right? I just select employees based on the age of employee, and now I actually want to go here. I use multiple selection and I want age of employee between 40 and 50 all employees now uh, not just Dallas employees so let's see how many hits are there so there are a total of uh, 38 employees right so you can see uh, their ages they are all between 40 and 50 and alternatively if I just go the other way around uh, and uh, let's say again age of employee both in input and output and I want to exclude uh, those between this particular range I want to exclude employees between the age of 40 and 50 I'm not sure if it is work exclude ranges execute and enter yes and you can see again I have 38 employees and rather than excluding the range of 40 
58 has again included those employees between this particular range. So this is something, something, something severely, seriously an issue with them. And I checked that this particular multiple selection is not working uh, only in this particular field. That is the age of employee, right? So let's uh, keep it aside and let's try multiple selection in year of birth. So I want year of birth again to be my input criteria, right? And I want multiple selection. I want all the employees taken birth between 1960 to 1970. So this is select ranges, not exclude ranges. And we press enter. And we saw, we see that we have 30 employees and they all are between 1960 and 70. Now let's try the other way around in this particular year of birth. So now we apply the multiple selection to the year of birth rather than the age. And let's say we are interested in excluding the people taken birth in 1960 to 1970. So let's try now. Uh, and you can see there are 39 employees now and these are either before 1960 or after 1970. So this multiple selection exclude ranges is working correctly in other fields, but it's not working correctly in the age field. So there is something strange uh, which we should uh, keep aside because it's not our uh, actually domain to address these kind of serious uh, issues within the system. So I don't know. I will report it to, uh, to the uh, SAP team, but uh, for now, let's try uh, using multiple criteria again. I now want uh, all my employees within my personal area, Dallas. I want it to be in the output. So DL00 is my code and I want their age or their year of birth, not age again, because the age is uh, uh, behaving very strange. So I want the year of birth not between 1960 and 1970. So let's see how it works. So you see that uh, these are either before 1960 or after 1970. So the multiple selection exclude ranges is working other than uh, in all the fields other than the age field. So this is how we saw that uh, in, within the free search uh, can actually use uh, any criteria and within a criteria we can actually for example this was again just to show you as a conclusion uh, that I want the year of birth so here is the month of birth let's see so month of birth and we can actually if we have a single value we can place here or if we have a range we can place over here we want to exclude a single value, we can write the single values here as many as we want. And if we want to exclude a range, we can actually mention as many ranges as we want uh, here. So, and if you want another criteria, we can just add as much as criteria as we want. So, I think it will be helpful just as a matter of clarifying that uh, when we use multiple criteria within free search, not multiple selection, multiple criteria. For example, one criteria was date of birth, the other criteria was personal area. Then actually system is looking for only those employees where all these criteria are fulfilled. So actually system is working on a connector of and. Actually system is saying, uh, let me write uh, in the word file. So, So if there are more than one search criteria, the system is connecting them with AND. Uh, but within one search criteria, within one search criteria, if we use multiple selection, the system will use or connect right? 
so for more than one search criteria the system uses angle and this is common sense if i give more than one criteria it means the system will look all the criteria to be met there but within one criteria if i give more than one values right uh, then so let's say more than one values then the system actually looks for all of these values not simultaneously so the system will use or connector 